Today, we will talking about tax import. Tax import is usually used when you are importing from other software, mainly POS system. You can download our tax import program from www.sql.com.my slash utility and you can enter your username and password. Look for SQLACC txt import dash setup dot exe save the installer and proceed to install the text format export from your third party software have to follow with this format before you launch your text import program you must log in your SQL and launch the text import. The first thing you need to do before importing is to register the text import software. You may get your text import license from your local agent. Just click on File, Register Database. Click on New and to copy your company name and address in your SQL. Go to File, Company Profile, copy the company name and paste it to your text import. Do the same step for Address. And insert the license key you have get from your local agent. Save. Once you register successfully, you have to Exit from the text import program and re log in again. As you can see, registered is true. We are able to import all master data file and also transaction file from text file or CSV file into SQL. Now, let's try to importing a purchase invoice. Click on purchase. Purchase invoice, click on get file to select your text file, let's say GST PH PI and verify. As you can see, there are two invoice documents and when you click on it, you can see the detailed transaction. You may need to check on the status, make sure there is no duplicate or error message. Let's say for this invoice, they are invalid item code. So make sure you have to import your item code before you start importing your purchase invoice. After you have import all your master data, let's try import again purchase invoice. Get file. To select your text file and to verify. Make sure the status is OK and click on Post to Account. Record successfully posted to database. Just click on OK and let's check on SQL. Go to Purchase. Purchase invoice. As you can see, two invoice import successfully. Now I will show you another example. Let's go to customer, maintain customer, get file to select AR customer and verify. If you found the status is invalid terms code or invalid agent code, make sure you have to create your terms and also your agent code. You can file your agent code and also your terms code from here and create accordingly. Let's say the agent code is SW and AK. Then we have to go back to SQL, Tools, Maintain Agent, New to create the agent code for SW. And AK save. 
Repeat the same step for maintain terms. Go to tools, maintain terms, new, 60 days, and save. After we done all the maintenance file, let's go back to import. Go to customer, maintain customer, get file, select AR customer, and verify. Make sure the status is OK. Then press on post to account. Record successfully posted to database. Just click on OK. As you can see, under customer, maintain customer, all information has been imported. For others transaction, it will be still similar. Thank you for listening.